Hi, I'm Emily, and tonight we're going to talk about how to use an iPod. We live in a time where techno technology is all around us, and some people might not know how to use it all. So tonight, we're going to talk about how to use an iPod and why it's important to us. Well, first, let's talk about what an iPod is. An iPod is a way for you to take everything from your computer around with you anywhere. It's like a mobile computer. You, you can take anything you need with you, and it will always be right with you. So iTunes and App Store, what are these? These are like the home base of the iPod. Um, with iTunes and App Store, this can help you stay organized. And so iTunes is the place where you download music, TV shows, movies, music videos, while App Store is the place where you buy and download games, calendar organizers, all these things. But some games that you can get are like Angry Birds, Temple Run, and Minecraft. So with having these two is super important to us with having the home base of the iPod because it from there it directs you out to anywhere you can go. So what can we do with this iPod? Well at the app store you can get all kinds of apps like Facebook and Pinterest. Well now you don't have to be on your desktop to access these. You can access your news feed on Facebook and access your pins and profile on Pinterest without having to be on your desktop. Now, they also have games like Angry Birds, Candy Crush, and Minecraft, which help people be able to access things not having to be on their computer. So what is iCloud? Just like an email address is the home base to anything like logging onto Facebook and Pinterest, the iCloud is the way for you to access anything iTunes or App Store. This is where you create a username and it helps you personalize your iPod. This helps you log into your iPhone or iPod or Apple ID, and your Apple ID is what helps you to be able to download stuff. With an Apple ID, you have an email, username, and password, and this is where you can download things. You're, every time you want to download something, you are going to have to type in a password, and having this password helps you protect yourself and the things that get downloaded to your iPod. Well, these iPods are also really cool because they are constantly getting updated. Apple has a system of iOS where it's constantly updating things, and so far they're on the iOS 7, which is the seventh update of Apple, and the thing that came with that is iPhoto or iMovie, which allows you to take more professional photos and also with iTunes. This is what helps you be able to download current music and they're always adding and updating the newest music to iTunes. So something to know about iPods is that they have a glass cover. So if any iPod is dropped, it will shatter and the glass will no longer be effective. Well, one way to protect these iPods is having cases. Cases can be personalized to anything you want and there's tons of variety of cases. I have with my case, I am the kind of girl that is outdoorsy. I like camo and pink, so I have a camo and pink case. But there are tons of ways that you can personalize your iPod with these cases. There's anything you want that can fit your personality. Also, the emoji keyboard is a way for you to send graphic images to your friends by texting with iMessage. And it allows you to share your feelings with your friends by one click of a button. So what are the apps? Through the App Store, you can get these, all these different apps that you can access on your iPod with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is wireless internet, which allows you to go anywhere with your iPod and access Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, all those things that need to be from a desktop and need internet, but can be from your iPod and be accessed. So organizing your home screen is important also after you download all these apps. Instead of having all these pages where you have to scroll through your iPod, you can organize them into folders and have a title on the folder which tells you what you want the folder to be organized as. See, this one is social and they took apps from their pages and put them into a folder which makes it easier to access your items in your iPod and makes it more organized for you so you don't have so many pages to be scrolling through. And so once you get your I 
iPod, you want to get these apps. And once you get the games, you can log on to the Game Center and be challenging with friends and people you've just met. You can challenge them in the apps and get to know people and have fun, really. This is the home base to all the games and apps for your iPod. The last thing you need to know is that you need to just have fun. In the beginning, it might be hard and confusing, but just always remember that you, there will be a day that you get used to it and just have fun with your iPod.